як жити зміє без рук і без ніг. Треба перезавантажитися зараз. The rehearsal is over. Now the curtains can open. Artist Vitaly Ruppelt is creating a graphic poster right here in his cramped Lviv apartment. Art is a weapon, believes Ruppelt, who is following in the footsteps of his favorite graphic designer, Ukrainian insurgent army artist Nil Hasevich, who died in 1952. History repeats itself, the liberation struggle of the 40s and 50s, and now it's happening again. On day three of the invasion, I got involved and remembered who I am. Rupert's military scene posters are distributed around the world with the help of Lana Mitsko, director of the Lviv Municipal Art Center. These posters are being sent to other cities, sometimes along with humanitarian aid, sometimes with the journalists traveling from Lviv further on. We usually provide them with samples. This is reactionary art. While part of the art center is still under renovation, a large part of it is being occupied by children and adults who have fled the military action these beautiful things that the young children are making as a way of therapy against the evil that's happening into their lives. It's very, very powerful. British art curator Vanessa Branson arrived in Lviv after visiting Bucha and Hostomil, founder of the Marrakesh Biennale and sister of billionaire Richard Branson. She seeks to see something else in this war, a new beginning and flourishing among the ruins. The invasion has been very focused on destroying cultural um, museums and churches and any cultural object that, that makes a Ukrainian feel Ukrainian rather than Russian. And on the one hand, you've got this destructive force coming in, just destroying everything. And on the other hand, as a sort of defense, you've got people making, creating, never before as culture felt more vital. and actually exciting. These are fragments of a Russian missile that hit Lviv. Volunteers and artists painted the missile remnants and put them up for auction to raise money for the Ukrainian army's needs. While donations were coming in fast in the first days and weeks of the war, today we have to be creative to figure out how to attract more funding every single day. One of the ideas was to draw Saint George, patron saint of Lviv, on the remnants of a Russian missile. It's not just some deformed piece of metal. You know that this is an aggressor's missile. It was really scary to touch it. I wanted to get an idea through, to cover all this evil, so to speak. I painted our jet fighter on it, a MiG-29 flying in that direction, tearing barbed wire that I painted in Russian tricolor. But even as these artists keep Ukrainian culture alive in art, Ukraine's Ministry of Culture has reported that Russian forces have destroyed or damaged more than 30 museums and reserves, 116 architectural monuments, and more than 130 churches. Omaliano Shudlak for VOA News, Lviv, Ukraine.